fighter Gamsil introduces Benjamin. Experience customer chatting like you've never experienced before. Create your own chat room with whichever name you choose and invite your friends to join. Simple to use and at an unbeatable price. Send a message to 999 and start chatting now. Get to know what everyone is talking about. Benjamin. Another Gamsel service that is rival to no other. Gamsel, your national GSM provider. Gamsel, Yai Baron. Buenas noches, mucho gusto, ya no existe nadie más. Después de este tiempo juntos, no puedo volver atrás. Tú me hablaste. Me tocaste y te volviste mi ilusión Quiero que seas dueña de mi corazón Entra en mi vida When you are mine Yo te lo Te comencé por extrañar Pero empecé a Panchito, first of all, you have to change your clothes. Go change your clothes! You have to talk to the people from the council so they can send some agronomists. Come on, hurry! Gentlemen, we're just going to burn this area of the coffee field. Nothing over there! Nothing over there, gentlemen! Only this part! This hacienda! Oh, I'm going to save this hacienda myself! Get moving! What are you looking at? Let's burn them! You can say what you want, Paloma. But to me, everything will sound like an excuse. Like you just being totally selfish. Daniela, I assure you that I'm thinking about him and about all the problems that would come up if we got back into a relationship. I mean, didn't you hear about what Fabian did to take the Hacienda away from us? And that that's only an example. I mean, what do you think will happen with Barbara or Angela? <laughs> well, I still think it's just an excuse. I asked your grandmother about it. I wanted to know if she would be okay with it if, if, if Diego and I, and? She didn't give me an answer. It's obvious she's not going to accept it, Daniela. And you can tell me that my relationships with Diego, not with his family, but, but, but trying to keep it together would be very selfish, you know? Listen, the only thing I know, Paloma, and it's what you taught me, is that when you love someone, it doesn't matter who's against it. I'm still in love with your brother. Let's hope you still have time to show it, Paloma. Uh, uh, <laughs> Where's Sorry. Harold? Oh, yes, he's in Mr. Sand's office. Over there? Yes. Thank you. Bye, Paloma. Daniela, where is Diego? I can imagine he's in his office. Are you going to talk to him there? No, 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 no. I'm going to go see him. I'm going to go see him. See you later. Yes, but what? Thank Bye. you, Daniela. Okay. Paloma, Paloma. No, 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 no. Leave her alone. She's in a big hurry. How about you invite me to a, a cup of coffee while Paloma comes back? One of those yummy ones you make in your office? There are a few things I'd like to talk to you about. Harold, my love. Why don't you tell Martha that story about your grandmother drowning in the ocean and all that stuff? Go on, I won't be what? too long. Uh, Just two uh, minutes, my me? love, two minutes. <laughs> Come on. Can I sit down? Yes, of course. Thank you. <sighs> Sir, the real estate agency and the bank have been calling you. Do you want me to call them now? Later on, Margarita. We have to use the loan from the bank to be able to pay off Ricardo's debt. Mm -hmm. I have set up a meeting with the creditors for this Saturday. 
Do you think we can have the money by then? Change the date for that. The bank is going to give us the money after they do a thorough analysis of the Hacienda's production. And when will that be? Margarita, get in touch with Jeremy at the Hacienda, would you? Yes, sir, of course. Thank you. Come in, George. Thank you. Listen, someone here. What's your name? Elsa. Elsa, please go into town and look for Aurelio. Bring him here immediately, please. Yes, sir. Which one of you were in charge, in specific charge of the fumigations? I want to know. Yes, yes, we're going to go one by one, and you're going to tell me which area you had to fumigate and how many packs or bundles you used. Panchito, your job is to walk through the trees and check them one by one, okay? Yes, sir. Okay? Okay, Arturo, please. Damn, I don't know what else to do, but listen. Check the fumigators so we can know how much Hello? oxychloride we've got. Okay? And make it snappy. Thank you. Mr. Jeremy, it's a call from the capital. And I think it's the boss. Oh. Okay, please, do what I said. Thank you. Hurry up, please. Thank you, Pancho. Jeremy, I need you to tell me when we can schedule a visit from the people from the bank. They'll have to see everything we have. The coffee and storage, the amount that's taken to the mill, and the amount that's ready to be picked. Yes, yes, of course, Diego. Is something wrong? No, 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 listen. Maybe, maybe this is something silly, Diego. I still have a few things to, to, to check on. Listen, Diego, in order to, to schedule the visit, well, I need a week, at least, no less than that. A whole week? No, no, Jeremy, we don't have that kind of time. Ricardo has fled from the country and I have to pay off his debts. If we're late with that, the entire production could be confiscated from us. Yes, yes, I understand perfectly well, but... But, but listen, it's just that I'm having troubles, Diego. That idiot you had for a brother-in-law, Miguel, didn't leave things in a good condition, not at all. He left us a disaster, Diego. What are you talking about? Well, it's just that... It's just that we found Bud's mildew. Mildew? No, it, it can't be true. But apparently that idiot was supposed... How serious is it? I still can't be sure of anything 100% right now, Diego. Listen, it's highly possible that, that it's only the trees that weren't properly fumigated, and that's all. I'm trying to work as hard as I can, so listen. What we're going to do is isolate the area where we found the bud, and, well, concentrate our efforts uh, on the rest of the plants, and, and that's it. Do you think it can be controlled? 